I do not rap, I'm a poet, you people should know this I'm on your ass and it's potent, your man's giving me a bag and I blow this Stupid ass man, I'm poison, bitch wipe your nose And I never trusted a hoe I couldn't even stream live, man We experienced some technical difficulties It devil stay busy, man I really wanted to hear from y'all Get some ideas, I really wanted to You know what I'm saying, vibe with y'all tonight we was going to go high on here and shoot another episode here at the podcast. No need to get discouraged. We're going to still turn up. Welcome back to the Real Run by the Podcast, the real podcast on the net. This is your host, I200 Done. And yeah, we're going to shoot another episode, man. Why not? You know. I give a shout out to my uncle Ace, man. One of the one of the uh, OGs left. Uh, I gotta point this out. I know you can see him post it. Uh, Why niggas watch your page more than women? They don't like you, but can't go a day without spying on you. That's some that's some real shit. I gotta touch on that. I gotta speak on that. Uh, the reason why I think you know a lot of niggas. Go watch your page more than women do. It, it's not. It's, it's not. They want to spy on you. It's just that they they envy you. You know. You know they're jealous. You know that like they want what you got. You know the only way how you can like you can't really get around that because you know you gotta keep you know what I'm saying your people up to date. I understand or you know like. Not really your whereabouts, but you gotta let people know that you still alive, you know, and let your loved ones know. You know what I'm saying? You, you might got something you wanna get out the chest and post on the on the book. The reason why I think a lot of niggas watch other niggas' pages is because they just simply envy, man. They yeah, you know I mean like for example, man, I have like somebody like I don't post that much on social media, but when I do, it's like, like they like my they like my posts, but I never hear from them, like outside of Facebook. Like, and I don't even look at it like they spying on me or nothing like that. It just, you know, some people just want to be in your shoes, like, forever for for what reason I don't know why. Because like man. If you knew the shit I had to go through and got to go through every day, like, you wouldn't want to be in my shoes. You'd be like, hell no, nah, them shoes are too big. I can't fit those, you know? Or these shoes are too small. I can't fit those. Like, that's, that, that go back to what I said in my, in one of my other episodes on the podcast. I was just like, mind your own business. Like, stay, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. Cause when you worry about what somebody else doing, like I said, I'm not gonna keep going back on it, but I'm gonna let me just reiterate on it. When you worry about what somebody is doing, they like, let me put my phone down. When you worry about what somebody is doing, they like, you 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 ain't focused on what you need to be focusing on, you know. You know, like how can you possibly uh, try to live a better life? Self love, be a better you. If you envy it with somebody else have, that's that's no way to live. I mean, if you the person I'm talking about, don't get offended on this podcast. Let's let's just correct it. You know, let's fix it. You know, because I don't wanna I don't wanna see nobody like being left out. You know, I spent my whole uh, I ain't gonna say my whole life, but half my life. You know, I always got the short hand of, of, of the stick. I always be the one who got left out. You know. But that still haven't made me like envy anybody or, or hate on nobody. Because just because if if another producer get his shine, I, I congratulate him. You know what I'm saying? Like, not on no no uh no hating shit. I'm just I, I could like quietly, I congratulate him. Like, 
I hit him up in his DM, be like, yeah, bro, I see you, bro. I salute you. Like, keep up the good work. Like, I'm cheering, I'm cheering him on. You know, I, I because I know my 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 day is gonna come, and whenever my time come, when it's time for me to show and approve, I have to be ready for that. You know, like when I did when I, when I decided to do this podcast, I watch a lot of podcasts, and I and I and I salute the brothers who got their own podcast right before me. You know, I know been like man, man, fuck them, man, they. Man, you know what, man, they, man, they, man, 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 they think they better than me, man. I, I never once said nothing bad about them because I know one day my day was going to come to where I got to show and approve, you know. That's why I'm constantly in the lab perfecting my craft, making these beats because I know one day it's going to be a time where I'm going to have artists coming for me left and right. I don't know if I'm doing left and right, right, but I know I'm gonna have artists come to me left and right. Two hun, I need this beat. Two hun, I need you to miss this song. Two hun, I need you to go do this. I need you to do this. Do, 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 do. But I gotta be ready for that. So I'm preparing myself before my time come. That's why I say you shouldn't be jealous of what somebody else doing, what they post on Facebook, because some of that stuff. It's probably real, 50% chance it's real, some is, is not real. So when you put yourself in a position where you hate on somebody else, you ain't doing nothing but blocking your blessings. You know, I, I ain't trying to preach or nothing, but I'm just speaking on it, you know, because I see a lot of it. And, and when, when I just, I just so happened to just to be on Facebook and I see my Uncle Ace, he posts, you know, like, I got to salute my Uncle Ace, man. One of the OGs and my pops too. Uh, but when I see him post that, just so happen that I seen it, you know, and, and we already recorded live here on, on the on here in the studio. So I'm like, okay, let me go ahead and speak on it because I I see a lot of that anyway. You know, a nigga would hate on somebody that's just trying to do a little better and trying to better himself. You know, and I really don't like using the word nigga, but. This is the real unbobbed podcast. If I can't, if I can't speak in the tone to where uh, most of my peers understand, you know what I'm saying? Then it's not real. I mean, I can easily articulate. I can easily talk to you in a professional manner, but this is not what this podcast is about. Like me being a politic, political correct and, and, and professional. This is me for this is just for me to let loose after a long day of work. Cause I got a day job, gotta invest in my music career, gotta invest in a podcast. So this podcast is a platform for me to just to let loose and, and speak on my unbiased opinion. I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes at all. But for those who envy other people. Man, I got a thing. Fuck all that. Let me let me say this. For any nigga who envy another nigga and jealous of another nigga, even if you is lucky on their Facebook page, bro, let me tell you, you ain't doing nothing but blocking your own blessings. That's all you doing. You ain't doing nothing but blocking your own blessings, bro. Like, it's no way in hell that you should be Worry about what somebody else doing or uh, how they doing it. You should be congratulating them. Pat them on the back. Good job, my brother. Keep it up. Is, it, is there anything I can assist you with? Instead of always thinking about how can I get something from them? You know, it ain't all about the money. Like, that's, the, what, that's what we got to understand as black people. To quit having your hand down like, what can I get from this person? Instead, let's go into how can I assist this person to better their business or better their life. It could be a simple phone call, pick up the phone, you know, just calling them, checking up on them. And I know I had that real bad too, because I'm the I'm the type that stakes on myself. 
Like, I don't bother nobody. You, anybody that know me, you know, I don't bother nobody. So I'm the type to always just stay to myself and, and, and I close everything out in the outside world and shut my phone off, shut my social media off. People be like, I've been calling you, man. I've been calling you. I never pick up because my phone off. I turn my phone off on purpose. And I had to get out of that because it wasn't right. How could somebody know to help you or, or to check on you if you shut everybody else out? It's not right. Like, especially your loved one, people who care about you. You can't do that. I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who did. That's why I'm saying it's not right. You know, that was just my coping mechanism because I didn't want to put myself out there to the world, make myself vulnerable. But when you understand and you go through stuff, you become wiser to know you're not making yourself vulnerable. You make yourself stronger, man. Like, for real. You make yourself strong when you can admit that, hey, man, I need help. That's the first step. Look yourself in the mirror like, I need help on this. I can't do this by myself. Like, you, may, you might be like seeing me. I'm in here. I'm in the studio by myself right now. I ain't got nobody. But at the same time, I got everybody on my side. Like, as long as I got God on my side, I know I got everybody on my side. Like, all that negativity, we, we, we going to block that today. Like, today, we going to block that. Because before you look up and see how the podcast is doing, you're going to see so many people coming in here sitting on, sitting on this couch, just talking, you know what I'm saying, kicking back. We're going to be laughing, you know what I'm saying, interviews, you know, just kick back, you know, just take the load off, you know. There's so much stuff going on in the world. We, we, you know, we're just going to speak on an unbiased opinion. I'm going to try to give my viewers, the people that's listening to this podcast, as much knowledge as I can, because you never know when is you know your last day on here on earth. So I'm gonna take this opportunity, this platform, to just get all the knowledge that I got bundled up and just give it to you. Boom. So with that being said, welcome back to the Real On Bottle Podcast, the realest podcast on the net. Right now, uh, episode one, it's 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 out. It, you know, it's out of there. You know, it's streaming. This is episode two. You know, and you know the title of this episode is, you know, let others shine. Your day gonna come, but let other people shine. Let other people get they shine on. You know. You're going to get your day. I guarantee it. Put God first. You're going to get your day. But whatever you believe in. Whatever you believe in. That's a higher power than you. You know. Because you can't serve two gods. You can't serve. What, what I mean by that is. You can't serve the God. And you can't serve the bank. Some people put money first. Wish you got a free will to do that. Some people put money first. Some people put God first. You know, but you got to choose either or. You can't do both. So, I know y'all be like, 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 why 200 be jumping around from, you know, topic to topic? But I'm not. You just got to understand the words that come out of my mouth, what I'm saying, you know, because everything I'm saying is to try to help somebody. Help somebody from 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 falling into depression. You know, that's why I'm so big with mental health. I like to help people. If you need somebody to talk to, book a free 30-minute cons consultation with me. Email me. My email is always going to be in the description box. I'm going to answer every email. I'm not going to turn nobody down. You know, because I can't 
I can't really, I don't know what you're thinking because, you know, until you tell me, you know, like, you got to communicate just like I got to communicate with you. I can't be closed off, turn the, turn the light off, and just sit in a dark room and just stare. You know, no, that's, that's, that's not what's up. That's not right. That's unfair to you as the viewer, as the um, audience. You you come to my podcast. You you wanna you wanna hear something that's worth you know to keep you subscribed, and that's what I'm gonna give to you. That's why the first couple of episodes, the first few episodes, I'm a I'm gonna be in here with just me and you. You know, whoever watching, if you listening, it's just us in the, in the studio together on this podcast. So. When you do see other people coming on the podcast and you see all these different people coming, you know what I'm saying, each episode, then you can go back to these episodes and be like, this is where we started off together. Come on, man, turn that shit down. Some people, you know, some people just going to be ignorant. You know, I'm I'm in a quiet community, and then you know you gotta have that one person to ride through with loud music. And you know me, I'm I'm all for loud music. Like I love, man, I love to blast the music up. You know what I'm saying? I I love loud speakers. I love the system. But it's a time and place for that. It's a time and place for that. You know. You ain't gotta be in there 24 7, seven days a week. You can, you gotta know when to turn that shit off. And tune in with your ears and listen. Now I know that, you know, the person that right around blasting loud music in a quiet community, you know, they you know, they probably know it's people probably sleep, gotta go to work the next day. But like I said, you know. Some people just don't care. I care though. I care about you. Whoever listening to this podcast, whoever watching this podcast right now, I care about you. Don't ever think I don't care about you. You know, we're going to keep it real. But at the same time, we're going to be unbothered about any negativity that come our way. This is what this podcast is about. For sure. Like, I know I said I'm supposed to be in streaming live. We still gonna stream live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. You know, we is not gonna let one monkey stop the show. But since I couldn't stream live tonight, I'm like, you know what? We gonna go out here and shoot another episode. And I gotta get up at four in the morning. I gotta go to sleep. But you know what? It's 10 o'clock. Yeah, we gonna go out here and shoot another episode. I just got off work. I just went to the gym. I'm sore, I'm tired. I wanna go to sleep. But I ain't complaining. Cause that's how much I love people. To sacrifice a couple of hours of my sleep and talk to you. Because I know it's worth it. It's going to be worth it. You know, I'm not selfish. And like I said, I'm not judging nobody. If you ever heard somebody say 200 hating ass producers, they're a damn lie. And if it, if it was an artist, like I said, he probably got mad because I didn't want to give him a free beat. You know, I got I got tons of free downloads on my website. Go get your tag beat, man. That's free. But you think I'm putting my blood, sweat, and tears behind making these beats just to give away to you for free? And my birth, and, and, wait a minute, wait a minute. I ain't going to cut that out. 
My beast is dirt cheap. $50 for another exclusive. Buy two, get two free. I don't know how long that's going to last. But right now, while I'm shooting this episode, yeah. 200beats.com, yeah. Buy two, get two free. I, I even got the 99 cent demo download. Buy one, get one free. You know? I even got coupon codes. You know? I got all kind of deals to where it make it easy for you where you ain't got to spend $50. You can get it for like probably $20. You can negotiate with me. I'm not trying to break nobody's pocket. I'm trying to help the artist. You know? Matter of fact, let me give a shout out to an artist that I'm working with. Nobody don't even know. But let me let me tell you right now, I'm working with this artist. I can understand nothing the artist saying, but I need to learn. I need to go on Babel. I need to learn how to learn a new language. It's French. I got this new artist from Paris. He killing my beat though. It's on YouTube right now. It's called Sweetie. By no name. Underscore RBL. Go check it out when you get a chance to. I, I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to like push it on you, but it's it go hard. It's called Sweetie. And and if you can't speak French, then go learn French. Like I'm I'm finna go learn French because I I want to know the words. You know, it sound like it's something. It sound like it, it, I know it's a hit. I know it's a hit. It ain't just because I'm saying it because I made the beat. But how he on that, like the delivery wise, how he throwing on the beat. Oh, yeah. It's a hit. I told him I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help push it anyway. And you know, you know what? He came to me with negotiation. I had to beat on my website for $50. He negotiated with me for $35. You know what? I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and accept that offer. Not because, not, it ain't because that the beat wasn't selling, which the beat had a few sales. But at the same time, it's just because he was real. He, he was honest enough to come and go buy a lease and negotiate with me. I respect that. I respect that. So, yeah, that's all. You, that's, that's all you gotta do. Like, you be honest with me. I keep it two hundred with you. That's why my name is two hundred. Cause I, yeah, I keep it too real. Like, for real, anybody will tell you. Just ask about me. Just go ask about our two hundred done. And anybody who didn't dealt deal with me, like, even even the artists who don't even. Mess with me no more. They'll tell you 200. Yeah, he real. Yeah. Yeah, like, I didn't make a few artists mad because I didn't, I, I, I be, I'm the producer be like, nah, 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 that take ain't it. Now nah, you got to go back in the booth and we record that. Nah, that ain't it. Nah, <laughs> nah, bro, I ain't trying to be funny. Nah, nah, if, you, if I put my name on it, if I co-sign it, nah, we're going to do it right the first time. So go and go back in the booth and, and redo that tape. You know, because I'm, I'm that honest. Like, I'm not finna, just because I made a beat, I'm not finna be like, oh, bro, they go hard, man. That's, nah. Because I know you can do better. I'm gonna push the artist. I'm gonna make the artist better. Any artist that, they'll tell you, any artist that I've been working with, they know I done made them better. I'm gonna push them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push them, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make them go beyond their limit. You know, they gonna be like, I didn't know that. I ain't, they be like, 200, I ain't know I had that in me. But I know. I know what's inside the artist. Like, I can see that. That's my talent. I know how to produce. Not just make the beat. It's a difference. It's a beat maker. Person who just made beats all day. Then you got a producer. That's the guy who actually put the song together. Find the right the vocal talent on, you know, to be on the beat, find the right beat, you know, arrangement. 
That's your producer. Then you got a, you got your engineer. I know how to engineer too. I went to school for that for two years. Audio engineer. That's that's the person who sit behind the console, missing the beat, tracking out the vocals, mastering. You know. Then you got you can't forget the songwriter. The songwriter. That's the hardest part to me. They gotta sit and come up with the lyrics. And if you ever anybody tell you they ever wrote a song from from scratch, that's hard. <laughs> like that takes a special type of talent right there. Like you gotta you gotta know what rhyme, this cadence, you know all that. Like that songwriting, like yeah, I respect that. You know it's it's a lot of different jobs in, in music business. You got the A and R's. A and R's the one who got to have an ear for music to, to find the right talent. You know, you got your PR, you got your publicists. You know, they the ones who go out and find the blogs. You know, put the artists on the blog sites. You know, like get them that exposure. It's a lot of different jobs in music business. Like it ain't just the artist and producer. You hear a lot about artists and producers, but it ain't just about the artists and producers. You got a lot of different jobs in music. That's why when I meet somebody to say they love to do music, I, I ask them, like, what inspired you the most? Oh, I just got an ear for it. I'm a good listener. Well, yeah, you yeah, you A&R. To me, in my eye, you A&R. You got a good ear for music. Like, you can hear a song and know if it's a hit or not. That takes some good, that takes some good listening skills. You know, like, yeah. Uh, welcome back to the Real on Bible Podcast, the real podcast on the net. Right now, you know, we we in here, you know what I'm saying? It's Tuesday night. Podcast gonna drop tomorrow, like Wednesday. I think it's gonna drop Wednesday or Thursday. It'll drop, it'll, it'll be to you as soon as possible. I'm going to get it out there, you know. I'm going to be editing it. I'm going to be editing it tomorrow, you know, because I do all my editing until we can, until I get an editor on the, on the, for the podcast. Uh, I'm looking for editors, too. So if you're, if you're a good video editor, then hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Let's work, you know. I already got my graphic designer. Uh... If you want to be a, a, a co-host, hit me up. I'm looking for co-hosts too. So if you want to be a co-host on the show, you hit me up. You know what I'm saying? You got your own space, personal space. You know, you can you can bring whatever you want to bring. You know, just chill out. You know. You know, whatever you drink, whatever, like BYOB, just whatever, man. I'm not, I don't judge nobody. That's do you. You know what I'm saying? Don't, as long as you don't make me try to do what you're doing, you know, we good. You know what I'm saying? You can't force me to do anything. You know, I got my own mind. <laughs> got my own mind, like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm looking for co hosts I'm looking for a video editor. Uh, what else? Uh, I think I'm probably looking for a couple of camera, a couple of camera people, like camera guys, camera women. Looking for a couple of those too. Like, yeah, like hit me up so we can uh, talk some business. You know, this podcast going to be big. I already know. I can feel it. You know, when I got that banner made right here, I was, I was man, I was too excited. You know what I'm saying? Like, my people will tell you, when they see me first get, go pick up my banner, man, I know it, it, it ain't big, but. The smaller things matter the most to me. You know, you got something of value, small of value, small, big, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm accepted. I'm going to be grateful. You know, as you should be grateful for your current position. Like, just take a step back and just look how good your life has been and what you've been through. And just thank Thank our Heavenly Father. Just thank your creator for bringing you through it. All the stuff going on in this world right now, it's like, 
it, yeah, it's crazy, but at the same time, we blessed. Like, man, like, I don't think a lot of people be just really thinking about that. I think about that a lot. Like, man, I'm blessed. I ain't got nothing to complain about. I don't have no, no regrets. I don't have, like, nothing, like, nothing. Like, I know... I didn't did what I supposed to do. You know, I'm currently like anything, I'm not perfect, but I'm currently fixing my mistakes right now. But I'm not sitting back dwelling on my mistakes. That's what that's what gets you when you sit back and you dwelling on the past. Like what you doing that for? What you doing that for? You know? Why are you dwelling on the past for? You know? Can't nobody make you feel bad for what you didn't did in the past. You know? How you know you what you were doing was wrong? You thought it was right. That's why you did it. Don't let nobody make you feel bad for what you didn't did way back then, a couple years ago, 10 years ago. That's not who you is right now. Hopefully you didn't change. I don't even know you, but I know you, you didn't change. You know, you got to live in the present. You know, live in the present, you set yourself up for a good future. You dwell, you dwell in the past, you don't do nothing but hold your future back. You hold yourself back from getting to the future. Because they ain't going to do nothing but cause uh, uh, depression. And then it goes to bitterness, you know. <laughs> you can't you can't be dwelling in the past. You can't go back and fix that. Even if you try to, you're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hurt yourself trying to look back and you trip forward. You know, like just live for today. Focus on what you can do today. Don't put it off tomorrow. Don't put off what you can do today, tomorrow. You know, my pops always told me that. Don't, don't, don't never, don't never, son, don't never put off what you can do today and say you're going to do it tomorrow because you ain't going to do it tomorrow. I guarantee you that. I'm like, yep. He showed it right, too. Like, I did been a couple of new scenarios. Like, I said, I'm going to do this tomorrow. Never get to it. Matter of fact, this podcast. <laughs> I said I was going to shoot this podcast last year. I'm going to do the first episode. Uh, I'm going to do it, I'm gonna do it on, on November of this. 2020. Uh, never did it. Here it is. February 2021. We in episode two. <laughs> I was going to say first episode. But this is episode two. First episode already, it's already done. Can you believe it? You can go back and look at it. Then come back to this podcast, of course. Episode two. <laughs> Welcome back to the Real Unbothered Podcast. The real podcast on the net right now. Man, we in here just hope y'all soaking up this knowledge, man. Some of some of this game. But, yeah, we're going to stream live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. We couldn't do it tonight. Had some technical difficulties. Like, you know, you just tuning in. If you skip through the video, I don't know. Like, yeah. Now you know. Um, man, I got my own podcast. <laughs> God is good. Hopefully, them Atlanta Falcons gonna do something better next year. I feel like if you know, I feel like I don't know. I feel like the Falcons, if we get rid of Matt Ryan, and yeah, I know y'all probably saying, yeah, two hundred, you from Dallas? Why you Atlanta Falcons fan? Look, man, I I just like the Atlanta Falcons. Julio Jones, pretty much. You know, Julio, and you know, Julio, man, he a hell of a football player. 
every season he work hard. Every off season, you know, he busts his ass. You gotta respect a, a football player like Julio Jones, though. Even if you if you're not a fan of the Falcons, like I feel like Julio need to be on another team though, because I feel like I just feel like with the Falcons, he ain't gonna he he ain't gonna get that Super Bowl ring. I think he deserves a Super Bowl ring. We already know he's gonna go to the Hall of Fame. I think Julio should go to another team if he want a Super Bowl ring. And that dude, man, he deserve it. Real, like Matt Ryan, he should go to another team too. I just don't think the Falcons is a good fit for him. You know, I feel like we get a rookie quarterback. You know, that's mobile. You know, he can get the ball to the other receivers, and, and they can. They, we, we still got Calvin Ridley. He, he, you know, what I'm saying we good. You know, if we get a good quarterback, you know, we'll be good. And in, in our defense, you know, we gotta get some DBs. You know, we got to get some linebackers. Like, we got to get – I think our linebackers are good. Nah, nah, we got to get some DBs, though, you know. Yeah, you know, we got to, you know, train that defense up a little bit, our schemes. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, the Falcons, if, if we do that in our season, like, we got a chance to go to the Super Bowl. Like, we got a chance to go all the way, like, for real. <laughs> Man, if the Falcons make it to the Super Bowl, you know, I'm going to be in that thing. You know, God will. I'm be in that thing. I'm be in the Super Bowl. <laughs> we in the Super Bowl in there. We in there. You know. Uh, we already know that Dallas Cowboys, man. I, I don't. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but Cowboys fans, y'all already know. I think y'all already know. You know. You know. Super Bowl dreams is over. They done already wasted in the '90s. Jerry Jones, he wasted that in the '90s. Like he got his Super Bowl rings. You know, I don't think Jerry Jones even care about going to the Super Bowl anymore. I, I think he just care about filling them seats, going to the playoffs. You know, I don't even think he really care about going to the Super Bowl like that. You know, he just care about filling them seats up, selling them tickets. You know, giving Cowboy fans hope, making it to the playoffs. You know. I like I like watching the Cowboys though. I ain't, I'm not gonna just I ain't finna talk bad about no Cowboys. I don't wanna have nobody unsubscribe. Like I, I watch the Cowboy games. Yup. But yeah, you know, feel good, feel good to have my own podcast, man. It's been a long time coming. I just did not know. I've been putting this off for forever, like, <laughs> procrastinating. I, everything, man. Everything. The procrastination, man, would deter you from a lot of stuff. You know, you, you, you just procrastinate. You know, you don't do nothing. Like I said, you just gonna hold yourself back. You'll never get nothing done. That's what it's called. That's why it's called procrastination. You know, the devil love when you procrastinate. He don't want you to do it. He don't want you to be great. Come get on the podcast, hit me up. Papa Squat. <laughs> we'll be in here, man. We can be in here, man. See here chopping it up. You know? Yeah, we be in here chopping it up. You know? I'm gonna be, I can be in here chilling, man. If you want, if you want to get your ass whooped from Madden, Hey man, go on sit down right there, man. <laughs> you know, I whoop your ass in Madden real quick. Not 2K. I ain't really too good at NBA 2K, so you might just whoop my ass in that. But pause. You ain't whoop my ass in no Madden though. Fuck that, man. Yeah, Shout out to my, shout out to my dog, Lil One. Shout out to my dog, Lil One. Man, wait, we, we need to get back in the studio. Lil One, you listening, man? Hit me up, bro. Yeah, I see him in the studio right now. He on Facebook Live right now. 
and that's one thing about Lil One, man. He always gonna stay recording or something like. I, I you know I know Lil One, man. Personally, man, he been he been through some adversity. You know what I'm saying? For real, like he been through some adversity, man. And and to see him still going at it, you know what I'm saying? Like I know he gonna be great. I know he gonna be successful in his music. It just some artists that you just know that just. You know what I'm saying? They, they time coming, man. They time is definitely coming. Like, shout out to Lil One. Shout out to Winston. Shout out to my dog, Rene Deshaun, man. And shout out to Tune In Music, man. Can't forget my team. Iso Dope, J-Boy, Nash, Little Chirp Chirp. Can't forget my team. Tune In. We tuned in! Can't forget my team, man. I love my dog. For real, man. Shout out to the Boss Talk Show. It's another black podcast. Y'all can go check out on Facebook. The Boss Talk Show. I went to school with my boy Antonio. We, we went to Edison together. You know what I'm saying? Just I just love seeing people I didn't went to school with, like, they doing something, they doing something, you know what I'm saying, like, to better themselves, you know, even if it's just podcasts, like, if you if you got something that you want to get off your chest, man, start your podcast, man, go download the free Anchor app, or go to anchor.fm, get started, like, it's free, man, you know, it's free. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easy way to make your own podcast. Let me explain. It's free. Thank you. We give you creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast straight Thank into the We your podcast on Spotify, Apple Music, or wherever you get your podcast. So download the free Anchor app on your <laughs> app store or go to anchor.fm and get the Anchor out. What you waiting on, man? Go make your own podcast. Why not? You know? Shout out to Doors Desserts. Go get you some. Go get you some dessert, man. Tea cakes, cupcakes, strawberry cake, lemon cake, and anything you want for a dessert. Go visit Doors Desserts on Facebook. You won't be dis disappointed. I guarantee you that. You seen episode one? Y'all know what the fuck going on. Welcome back to the Real Unbothered Podcast, man. The Real Podcast on the net. Right now, I just I just got word. I just got the news that uh, people thought uh, it was a UFO in Florida, in the Florida sky. It turned out to be the U.S. Navy. <laughs> I, I I don't know I don't know if y'all I don't know if y'all know it or not, but uh, aliens are real though. But you know, you know, aliens been here though. Aliens been here on this planet, you know, for a long time. And I don't, I don't, I don't know. Y'all might disagree with me, but you know, aliens been here for a long time. And you know, as long as they don't bother me, hey, I ain't gonna bother them. You know, I seen that movie District Nine. That dude turned into an alien man over there messing with them aliens. Oh. Uh, but yeah, you know, it could have been a UFO for real. They just probably just told us it's a U.S. Navy. I don't know. Yeah, or it could have been a U.S. Navy. Hey, I don't know. Hey, don't get me to lie. I'm just giving you my unbiased opinion. Hey, I thought, I think it was a UFO. Oh, I think they just telling us the U.S. Navy. But hey, I was. I'm not in Florida. I'm in Texas, so. If you wanna come kick you with the dumb, come down to test. You know, I ain't gonna fly you out. You'll figure out a way to get here. You know. You know, you'll figure out a way. But uh one thing too, if you don't wanna if you don't feel comfortable, like I know corona, you probably scared of corona. You know what I'm saying? If if you don't feel comfortable being Next to the dub on the podcast, you can always uh, hit me up on Skype. 
I'll put you on the big screen, you know. I have it, everybody be watching. So, whether you want to uh, stream live or you just want to just shoot, you want to be on the podcast, and I will most happily Skype you. Just let me know. We can set that up. You know, you can be on Skype with me. You know, so, hey, man, so many different ways I want to try to, you know, get everybody included. I like everybody being included. I don't, I don't want nobody to feel left out. Not, not on this podcast. That's not how it's going down. A lot of people count me out. A lot of people count me out. But not anymore. Because I got my own platform. <laughs> I got my own platform. <laughs> One love. So, yeah. With that being said, we can just we can get up out of here. But I gotta go to sleep. I gotta go to sleep. Gotta get up early in the morning. It's eleven o'clock. Gotta get up early in the morning. You know, like I said, the episodes that's gonna be in the future, it'll be a little bit more longer because you know I have guests in here and. Like I said, it could go for an hour, two hours. This right here, we're going to, I'll be trying to keep it short. Short and sweet, because it's just me. And nah, I can't sing, because I'm playing. But don't, don't make me hit that damn, um, uh, don't make me hit that uh, Cody Johnson with you, I am. I hit that karaoke now. Yeah. Yeah, I hit up, I hit up some karaoke. I love some karaoke. Man, I love my I love my production team, man. I love my family. I love everybody who subscribed, man, to the Real and Bottle Podcast. I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, please hit me up in the comments. Uh, let me know what you want to talk about. Let's talk about it. You know, if you need to book a free 30-minute uh, consultation, please email me. I will make sure I get right back to you. Give me, for, like, 24 hours, less than 24 hours out of I, I get to you, like for real, like as long as you ain't on no bullshit, like we can we can definitely work together, like that's all I'm all about. It's unity, spread the love, man. Positive vibes. I'm out. Peace.